Speaking about his upcoming Western epic horizon, An American Saga, Kevin Costner took a jab at director's cuts, stating why his films won't have several versions. Directing long westerns like the 139-minute Open Range and the 181-minute Dances with Wolves is one of Costner's specialties. His next project, Horizon, An American Saga, will consist of four films, each lasting approximately three hours. In an interview with Empire Magazine, Costner expressed his contempt for the director's cut culture, saying that the version of the film that theatergoers see should be the one that was intended. The actor claimed that many people had tried to talk him out of creating a television series as extensive as Horizon, an American saga. Nevertheless, this hasn't stopped him from going after his dream picture. See what Costner said in the section below. Yes, it did. What was happening with streaming was... Someone said to me, Look, let's do this, Kevin, please don't do this. However, I'm happy with what I'm doing. I think huge screens are great. I think the experience is real. I have faith in what's in store for your television as well. I'm not one of those people who owns a director's cut. You know, the director's cut is the fucking movie I make. There's something Kevin Costner says about director's cuts. Regarding director's cuts, Costner's viewpoint is dated because there are films when the other takes are thought to be better than the theatrical release. The improved reaction for Zack Snyder's Justice League, a shortened version of the 2017 film that doubled its duration to 242 minutes, is among the most recent instances of this. The positive reception the picture received proves that director's cuts play a crucial role in the evolution of cinema. They can, however, also render the original cinema versions of movies out of date, raising questions about why they were released in the first place. Snyder is another important example of this, with his critically acclaimed Rebel Moon movie serving as one. The films were originally released on Netflix as PG-13 entries, lasting around two hours apiece. Later this year, director's cuts will be released, with a rating of R and at least an hour of new material in each film. It's not obvious why the current sci-fi film versions were released at all, considering these future cutbacks seem to represent the director's intended vision. It makes sense for Costner to choose not to include director's cuts in his Horizon films since he wants viewers to get the full experience. But other films, like the expanded versions of The Lord of the Rings, are better off with director's edits applied after the fact. Although this does not lessen Costner's contempt for the technique, such instances demonstrate how different takes on a previously released movie can improve it. Although Horizon... An American saga won't experience this, it is evident that director's cuts can be advantageous or disadvantageous depending on the situation.